now what we do can here I put that USB drive because it's ready uh, I have uh, that Windows 10 here inside so I can plug that in behind our PC to an USB slot and then we can turn on the computer press 1 2 1 2 keep pressing 1 2 as is uh, Lenovo so what we need to do we need to change the boot sequence you can press the forward arrow to change the boot sequence so you can see here's some startup primary boot sequence press enter here and uh, you can see and uh, USB the first one is a USB Kingston traveler so that's what we need and the second one is the hard drive uh, I have a Western digital 250 gigabyte hard drive inside so we need this one as the first one if you want to change if not is first you can change it by pressing the plus or minus like if I press the minus it will come down if I press plus it will go up so you can change that by pressing plus and minus and uh, here is a guide if you ever need to reference which you need to press to move things up and down so yes everything is good and uh, F10 save and exit so let's press F10 save changes yes and it will reboot so it will restart sometime it asks press any key to boot from the USB drive sometime it doesn't ask as you can see a circle is moving that means going forward ok good so looks like uh, things moving up so Windows 10 United States looks good press next okay install now or repair your PC we will press install now and says setup is starting so ac activate Windows so it it's asking to put the activation key so I will pause here put my Windows 10 key and here's agree license agreement this is a thing no one reads um, but uh, we should not do like this press next and uh, upgrade so install window and key file setting and application if you want to keep your file you can press the number one if uh, you want to do a custom install like uh, uh, the fresh you can select the second one so as I am doing the set uh, the fresh install so I will press the second one so press this one and hit next and the window will start the process so installing windows so you can see it says copy window file getting files ready and uh, it started the process now so as you can see it's pretty quick So restarting my system so you can see at the bottom there is a green bar which tells you how much time it got left so it's restarting usually computer will restart about like uh, 8 to 10 times and I keep pressing F1 F2 because this is the key for my computer to go to BIOS uh, you can search for yours once it's come up go again 
to to the startup primary boot sequence and uh, bring the cursor down on the uh, on the SATA hard drive press plus and it will on the first sequence so once it's done you can press the F10 to save the changes and the save configuration press yes so now once it's, it will boot it boot from the hard drive rather than going a loop again from the CD-ROM not sorry CD-ROM from USB flash media yeah starting service looks like is booting from the windows from the hard drive so that's the important step sometimes people do a mistake uh, they leave the booting sequence uh, from if they are installing from the CD or uh, thumb drive they leave it as is and uh, some computer change automatically when they restart the second time they go to go and boot from the hard drive and uh, on some like uh, this one you have to change the sequence okay now it asking to select the region you can select your country here as I am in Canada so I will select it. Canada here. Next, next. Yes, use keyboard layout. You don't want to add another keyboard. Yes. Here now it's asking setting up a work computer if it's organization computer you can click here if it's your personal computer you can click here uh, I would suggest even if it's your organization computer your company or work computer still click here and uh, uh, join to the domain or do all the setting once you get into the windows sometime it gives trouble when you join from right here so set up for a personal use and hit next let's add your account name so it's asking to log in to the Microsoft here and uh, put your email ID and uh, what I would do I don't want to log into Microsoft I want to create a local account so you can press offline account here window will tell you you will get a limited experience don't don't worry about this just press limited and here we can press admin <laughs> press next I don't want to put the password at this point but if you want to set the password type here a password computer login password So here's do more with the voice if you need to enable the voice recognition like uh, CD or oh, not CD uh, what's the windows one uh, I f sorry if I got the name so you can set location yes set and the device yes and the requires yes and improve the typing yes and yes again let's set you the advertising ID I don't wanna allow this okay So let's Cortana help you to go. Oh, yeah, her name is Cortana. Help you to get things done. Press accept here. So almost there. And boom. The window has been installed. You can see you are on your desktop and if you want to see let's right click on the sorry open the file explorer right click on the computer see properties 
and there you can see Windows 10 Pro is installed. So I have 8 GB of RAM, Core i5, 3rd gen. If, you, if this video is helpful for you, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel to motivate new tech YouTuber. I will catch you up in the next video. Until then, bye bye.